Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about the new feature hardware leg levelers and setting them up in Mosaic. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a new job. Uh, it doesn't matter what it's called, we just need a leg leveler setup. Drop in a cabinet on a wall and then from there this is what you're going to do. So you want to go to job parameters. If you're doing this for your full library, you're going to do pro go to the library tab and go to your product libraries and then activate this, use legs, and you want to change it from no to yes. That is the new parameter to activate hardware legs. So you're going to click OK there. The second thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings tab and you want to go to the miscellaneous tab here and this will likely be at none. You want to change it to whatever uh, legs you want. If you don't uh, have any legs in there, you might not. You're going to go to Tools, uh, Import Updated Data. Find the legs category. If you're a user of Hayfile Axolo legs, they're all preset up in here. So you just select them and then you're just going to have to, uh, you select them and then dump import it here. And then from there, you can select it here. We had a different kind of leg. We use these Richelieu pop-up legs. So these guys here, we had to set up from scratch. Uh, so now you've set this up, you've imported the legs. If you have a, if you're setting up from, from something brand new, you're going to want to bring in just a random, one of those hay fillet legs. Uh, and just work off of that, get started from that one, and then uh, copy it, build out your, your leg setup from there. Uh, to get to the leg hardware, you go to the libraries uh, drop down, uh, go to the hardware, and then there's this new window legs. So for this whole window, what you're looking at here is the image. So this is the image. This is the drop down menu to select your different type of legs. You can set up your cost, your markup. You can put a comment on there. You can use a leg model. This is where it's nice where you have copied something because they already have built out these leg leveler uh, models. So it's nice just to copy them over. They're close enough to for representation. Uh, I like to do everything like setup in millimeters, so I'll always change that. Ours are 100 by 100 millimeters. Uh, here is the leg type. So if you're using a leg that is more like this press fit one, that's a single hole in the middle, um, th then uh, you would use the standard one versus the L shape. This one here again is the L shape. So you get the three holes. There's two different ways that you can set up this, the operations here. We ended up deciding to set it up on zero, zero. Uh, when you're looking at this crosshair, this would represent the uh, outward facing side of the cabinet. And this quadrant right here would be the center inside side of the cabinet. So just note that when you're setting this up. If you didn't want, if you don't want to worry about the offset of this whole, uh, peg hole, like this distance from here to here, uh, you can, uh, let's go back here. You can also offset your operations so that that accounts for that little offset there. I found it easier to set it up through the other parts of the menu and just set these at zero. Okay, so it was a little bit easier for me. So that's our operations. If you're unfamiliar with the operations system here, check out our video on the operations tab. There's a lot of info on there you will find very helpful. Uh, once you've set up your operations and the drilling and everything, uh, I would also recommend bring a leg if you don't already have the legs at your shop because uh, even, even this one here, I had to measure off of the existing one because if you look at their, their drawing here, it almost appears that 64 millimeters is from this peg to this peg and this peg to this peg, but this peg is 
inset more, but that's not actually how it is. It's 64 millimeters to the center of this peg as well. So these drawings aren't always right and it seems like the manufacturers of this hardware love to throw this curveball. So bring one in, measure it off yourself, safest bet. So you got your operations set up. The next thing you're going to want to do is set up the position uh, of how this is going to work. So your T distance is from uh, the offset here to this location right here, the very center of this crosshair. F would be from here to the center of the crosshair. So, and then U and then B. So you would be unfinished end offset. F is a finished end offset. If you decide you wanted to have different offsets like we do, uh, that's where you would differentiate them is these two numbers here. You don't have to have these as a formula if you don't want to. You would also you would just have to send these operations inwards into this quadrant more to account for that little offset on the actual leg. For us, I just used this formula here. So I have a toe recess plus 20 millimeters, which is that distance uh, offset from the peg to the edge of the plastic foot, plus the finished end thickness. I'm really just using this finished end thickness as a placeholder as for my toe skin. I could just change it to toe skin, but I don't actually usually, uh, my toe skins are on a separate material template, and then I cut them out differently. For me, it just made more sense to use the finished end thickness because it always comes out as the finished end. So that's how I uh, came out with that. Uh, this recess is the recess from the front edge of the cabinet to the face of the toe skin. So finished end thickness, basically the same thing. Uh, toe recess plus 20 millimeters plus finished end. Uh, I wanted to have them the same for a finished end just in case I have a toe, re like a, if your toe kick returns and then you have a, say a cabinet on the end of an island, I want my, uh, my legs to be in line with the front edge so that my toe kicks will line up properly. That's why I ended up making that one different. This one I just set at like three quarters of an inch. Uh, and then back inset, again, I made it the same, this number, uh, the same as this. Uh, this is not accounting for the, uh, this is the distance full from the very back of the cabinet to the center of the leg. I was trying to set it up so that uh, the distance from the front to the leg and the back to the leg were the same so that it's a reversible part could be changed around just in case someone edged the wrong side it'll still work out uh what else here so leg separation that's it'll add an extra leg in if your cabinet width wise or depth wise if your cabinet gets wider or deeper than this number not cabinet sorry the distance between the center of the legs so i'm going to make that even more I don't necessarily want an extra leg. Let's go 38 or, by, or bigger. So that's it for the menu. Then we're gonna click okay. Double click this. Uh, so you've activated it through this menu. Now drag in any cabinet and you're just gonna wanna see uh, just to make sure that you're getting operations on it. As you can see, I'm getting operations for the legs all the way around. And top view. Oops. Yeah, so I'm getting my leg leveler holes right there, there. It should be 20 millimeters from the center of the hole to the edge of the toe kick. So that looks about right. Uh, so the last thing to consider with the legs is you can double click this. So as you can see, it drops in leg parts in here. So let's double click a leg. And how do we know which leg it is? Okay, so in this case, I want to change it to, so you have your X, Y, bottom to top doesn't really matter so much. It's more 
left, right. So if I change this one to 100, as you can see, this was the top left one. You can inset it in. And in, outset it backwards, um, front to back. So you have some, some play in moving things around. I don't think that this type of stuff is built in here to, you know, encourage you to change it. I feel like it's just these two that you'd want to mess around with if you want to move your leg location. Uh, I can't see too often when you go into this menu, but it is certainly an option. Now for a 90 degree cabinet, that may be a, an instance where you'd want to modify the leg location. So this is another reason why I like to have just a blank drawing set up so I can mess around with the location of the legs. Um, what am I trying to do here? Add a wall right here. And then I want to add in a corner cabinet. Okay, and we'll just check out and see how our So I do have a lot of legs here. It looks like way too many. Oh yes, so I'm getting double legs because I have my, uh, I have the, the setup on, which is my old leg leveler style. Okay, why aren't you bringing it in? Okay, I'm gonna cancel it here. Um, oh, it's right here, sorry. Okay, so now I have legs here. Um, pretty good, I'd probably like another leg right here. I'd also like to inset this leg more. So I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna set it at 25, 25. See how that looks, too much. 28, 28. Okay, that's not bad. So let's click okay there. So we've got leg here, leg there, 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 there. I, I could see another leg here. This one's definitely too far in as well. Okay, so I want to move left, right. I just want it to clear fully. Yeah, perfect. It does appear that there is no way to add an additional leg. You certainly can move legs around. Um, one thing I could do is Oh, I think it's center to center. If I wanted to change that centered position to say 24, then I would add an extra leg in there. I might do that, I might copy this leg system. This is what, this is a workaround, workaround you can do. Sometimes Mosaic, uh, you just gotta think outside the box to make certain things work. So I'm gonna copy this leg setup and I'm gonna call it for a base corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna change this to 22. Oh, with the centered, I'll show you that after. Then you're gonna go here, you're gonna go set up your legs and then activate the base base corner legs. So as you can see, I got a couple extra legs here. Uh, so this is where you're gonna find the leg that you want. And probably this one. I would want it the same as this one actually. So let's find this leg, 
there you are so let's double click that I'm going to take a screenshot of this so now I have a screenshot of those numbers um, I'm gonna drag it into my other window where you can't see it but it's there so then I'm gonna get out of there I have to find that other leg again double click it so it's at 16.065 and then it's at 2 and 3 sixteenths but I probably wanted it about 12 uh, the rotation should be at zero and as you can see I'm just copying it off of this one so the rotations at zero that's about where I want it but I don't quite want it that far up I like to sometimes when I'm installing toe kick I want to pass this one through and then nail it in there that way it's not critical so then that's looking good and click OK then I can go to this guy I don't need one of those two so I'm going to delete uh, delete that so to delete sorry let's bring this window back you're going to want to hit here and then just delete it so now you've gotten rid of that one this one here I do want to have but it's too far out so we'll go 28 and 28 a little bit easier to reach and uh, that's pretty much it for that so okay we can close and save that so this is basically the uh, tutorial on how to set up leg levelers I think it's for the first iteration of this style of uh, hardware setup it's pretty good and I think it's only going to take a little bit of time to figure out uh, fully and once this is set up I think it's set up well enough that you shouldn't really ever have to touch it so uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, please consider subscribing as it really helps us make more videos like these if you're interested in supporting us directly we have just activated our YouTube memberships so check that out on our channel homepage, and if you'd like to join there's uh, quite a few perks in there uh, you'll receive priority replies and even mosaic video tutorial recommendations uh, so we'll be also launching soon uh, on our web page inserts and downloads for mosaic software uh, that you can download such as upcoming we have like a spice polo it's parametric it works flawless like it's, we sold so many of these uh, so we're going to put that up on there with a few other things like our cnc dovetail drawer setup and uh, yeah so thanks for watching and uh, have a great one